inspiration streak continued. So, three days ago, I watched Top of the Pops. During that, a band did a song about Thunderbirds. I realized that and watched Thunderbirds, so I watched that two days ago. And then, during the comments of Thunderbirds, someone told me, hey, you should watch the thing where they make Tracy Island on Blue Peter. So I watched that, and watching that inspired me to watch more Art Attack, which we're doing today. Will I gain any inspiration from this? I don't know, but it's always nice to watch Art Attack anyway. This is an Art Attack? Where is it? This is an Art Attack. Oh, Lord. This is Art Attack. I think the salt is probably the big Art Attack. I don't know if I've seen this version of the intro. Maybe I have. I don't remember it. Neil? There you go. Hello there. Nice to see you again. Now then, are you one of these people who suffers from broken shelving or lack of space in your bedroom to store your books? What you Absolutely. need is a heavyweight bookend. Whoa. And here it is. <laughs> Come and have a look at this. <laughs> you made you? <laughs> right. You sit there and watch. You might learn something. Technology's gone too far. <laughs> a paper bag that's roughly the same size as a bag of sugar. Now, it can be a, an old sugar bag or even an old flour bag. And three quarter fill it with pebbles or stones or gravel or anything you can get from your garden. Okay. Just something to make it nice and fat and chunky and heavy. Then what if I have a your garden? Bag closed like that. Take some sticky tape and just tape it closed. Then take an old piece of newspaper and scrunch that up and just scrunch it roughly into an L shape. Now, this is always good stuff to model with because you can bend it into different shapes. There you are. There's an L shape. I'm just going to tape it into place like that and then tape it onto the bottom of my bag. Like that. And then do another leg the same way. Tape that. Other legs, the okay. Bottom right. Of your bag there, like that. Just put the two of them together. It doesn't have to be neat at this point. Just keep modeling it as you're going. And here's a tip. If you can make your legs as chunky as possible and sticking out to the front, then your heavyweight bookend will take the weight of your books a little later on. And then build the rest of That's the body up, said. just putting on some paper arms in exactly the same way as you put the legs on. And again, I'll keep saying it, it doesn't have to be perfect at this stage. And You'll just, just go around and make a chunky. scrunched up ball of paper for the head right on the top with a bit of tape. And when you've got it to that stage, take some lengths of one of my favourite materials, this, loo roll, or tissue paper, and you can just wrap it round the oh body. Oh god, you're suffocating him! Of your heavyweight bookend, like that. Looks like a little cloak at this point, doesn't it? And then, mix some PVA glue, equal parts with water, just the old PVA school glue, in the white squidgy bottles, and literally slop it on to your body, like that. And you see what starts to happen there? The glue starts to soak into your tissue paper, and starts to just bind it to your newspaper and just cover the whole of your heavyweight body and it's a good idea to do two layers of this oh well i won't do it all just do that bit to show you and leave it to one side to dry probably overnight oh and it's dry it'll look something like that look at that now it looks <laughs> a bit like an egyptian mummy at this stage yeah, doesn't it say, yeah. but you notice the pva glue has gone rock solid and it's made the tissue paper glue to the newspaper and it's all gone rigid there and i've even put this little dollop of tissue paper on for a nose yeah, and that's then what I it was. take some acrylic paint or even poster paint and paint on the detail of your person now it could be anyone you like i did me and you can do yourself or your favorite pop star or sports personality a good guy doll but just take some time to paint on your detail and again i'm just going to do it quickly here to show you just slopping on the color there's the red for my sweatshirt and if you take some time, you should get quite a good result out of it. Well, when I finished mine, it looked something like this. And there he is, a heavyweight bookend. And you can see That's here, crazy. I've put on all the detail, even his sweatshirt. And I haven't gone for a likeness on the face. I've gone for more of a, a cartoon face. But it's a good effect, isn't it? And when I finished the painting, I waited for it to dry, and then I coated it in PVA glue. And when that goes dry, it goes hard and shiny, and it gives it this great finish. And then, you can use it to prop up your books on your bookshelves, 
bet. Or on your floor. And if you've got lots of books, why not do two of them? <laughs> one for the other end. And you can even add in extra bits of detail using scrap card or paper just before you put Whoa. on the loo roll. Like that footballer's ball. And what about some wool for the hair? Try it yourself. A heavyweight bookend. Already think. What? Castle Dracula. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I've seen him do a art attack with powder before. I think that's the Halloween one. This is a different one. I think it is Dracula. Okay. Did I see this one already? I haven't seen this episode. So I don't remember the book. Yet, but I feel like I've seen him make an art attack similar to this. A big art attack. I'll have to look up the episode, the Halloween episode I saw before. Where I thought I've seen him make Dracula a powder before. Unless the big art attack itself is just a repeat. I like sec though. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro has no appreciation for art. Dude. Things like that do not scare me in the least. Do you want to see my garlic powder picture? Sure. Ah! Well. Ah! Mummy. Just take a very quick look at this cartoon that I've drawn. Now, yeah. what do you think is missing from the picture? Is that Jack I'll give you a clue. It's something that follows you around all day. Got it? Shadows. But where do you put the shadows in your picture? Well, here's a good tip. Oh, yeah, that's a green drink. Look for the place <laughs> that the light can't get to. Now, in this picture, the light is coming from this street lamp here. So I'll just chalk that in like that. And it'll be shining out in this direction. And it'll be shining down onto the man, down this side of him. So the light won't be able to get to this side of him. So I'm just going to draw in the shade down his left-hand side there. And, of course, no light will be able to get under the brim of his hat. So I'll put that in. And just doing it very quickly like that, putting shadow or shade all the way down that right. side where the light can't get to. All the time looking for those little nooks and crannies. And put it on his legs as well because the light won't be able to get under his coat. And don't forget, he'll be casting a shadow out across the pavement because the light can't get to it because he's standing in the way. And also up the wall like that. And there it is. Now, one place the light will be coming from in a lot of your pictures is the sun. And when you've drawn your picture, you have to decide where the sun is Whoa. in your picture. And 
Let's just I want to be a cowboy, the baby. There. In fact, it's going down at the end of the day. And then just look for the places that the light can't get to. So on the coach... He's like, help, my carriage is getting away. <laughs> there like that. Maybe one of the wheels underneath. Stop it. <laughs> and on the horse's Come back. bottoms. Horse. Like that. And they'll be getting a nice suntan up front. And don't forget the coach will be casting out a shadow along the ground. And on the cowboy himself, well, that side will be in light. And this side will be in shade. So he's got all his front with the light nicely shining on the front of it. And all his backside, so to speak in shadow like that all the way down i gotta be honest i'm not really him. seeing it Great. it kind of looks like you're scribbling on him <laughs> and down that arm and don't forget he will also be casting a shadow with the light shining between his legs and out the shadow goes in that direction and what about the cactus yep you've got it it's down this side of the cactus like that with a shadow out in that direction try it yourself put some shadows into your pictures and that one I could probably do. That the light can't get to. At last, I know how to draw shadows properly. You draw the places where the light can't get to. Oh! oh. Hey, where's my pencil? Where's your hand? <laughs> Hello, my name's Jane. And I scrape paint across the paper with a piece of serrated card to make this effect of a volcano. Sweet. My name is Nula and I have done a picture of the bridge using cardboard tools and paint. Nice. Hello, my name's Gemma and this is a painting of a forest. I did my tree effect by twisting my card from side to side. Let's see. Ah, great pictures. And what a good idea, using cardboard as a tool to paint with. Now, this technique reminds me of the technique of the old masters many years ago, the way they used to paint with palette knives. And they used to just smear their paint, literally, thickly, across their paper, thickly. using a knife. Now, they would probably That's not use <laughs> oil paint. I'm just using ordinary poster paint and acrylic paint that I've just squeezed straight from the bottle. Oh shit, it's music time. Ah, uh, you know, that's how you know he's getting serious. My voice is shot, put the music on! Oh, now I see it. It's a boat. Really good. Well, that that part reminded me of Sonic Avenger. That's sick. I'm gonna have to look about this. I've seen that Dracula thing before because I think I have. I didn't know they reused our text sometimes, so maybe they do. Try it yourself a card painting, and I'll see you next time. Ta ra! Bye, Neil. I'm off, to, I'm off to look you up on my YouTube channel. Okay, yeah, here we go. I know it wasn't going crazy. It's the same thing.
I was much more hype at the time because I hadn't seen it before. <laughs> Are you serious? And I had less hair. Oh god, Neil. Yeah, I didn't know they reused <laughs> big art attacks sometimes. I guess they do. Bro, that's so awesome. Are you kidding me? It's a whole different episode though, because surely the part after is different. It is that's awesome though. Crazy. Yeah. Hey, you want to see my garlic powder picture? The talent, bro. It's the same segment. Bro, you got chill. That was the same segment. It was just a, a different lighting and different picture. But he said the same thing. Wow, that was just a reused segment. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was just a completely reused segment. Wow. Okay. Um, oof. <laughs> I wonder how often they did that. <laughs> I wonder how often they completely reused segments. Wow, that's 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 crazy, actually. <laughs> Man. Okay. Well, I don't know if I. Uh, I don't know if I drew any inspiration from anything in, from watching that. So that might end my. Uh, that might end my uh inspiration streak but i uh i did enjoy that regard i always enjoy watching art attack art attack's just so much fun I and mean, if you don't watch and if you don't enjoy watching neil what's great what's wrong with you but yeah that reuse segment's crazy <laughs> that's insane <laughs> wow okay jeez all right well that's it for number extra art attack though hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching if you liked the video be sure to leave a like if you didn't like it don't if you want to follow any of my social media links are all in the video descriptions well names all my patrons if you didn't know you can be patreon me for as little as one dollar one pound and you get extra direction videos well as the renew comes up there at least sometimes more of all being said though my name is taffer it has been my uh what was it, like six i did just i just had it up i think it's six wait i, I just i legit just had the the oh excuse me jesus i just had the list up wait let me see it is, yeah, six reaction art attack, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.